Hey everybody, Rob Ferretti here, and I hope you're sitting down because I'm about to tell you the things I don't like about the 488. Some sort of dancey roll right here. Do, 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 do. So I know, you're like, oh, he's just trying to stir up drama. There are a couple of things I think that could have been done better, uh, and some of them are optional that I have. And let's start with the first one that really bothers me, which is my awesome floor mats. And I say they're awesome, but, and I have them covered in plastic. And why do I keep the plastic on the floor mats? Hold on, taking them out. They're leather, like shoes, leather, no good. It's made for like clothing to rub, rub against. Like I can't, I just can't do it. I mean, to make leather floor mats is like, it's like using white fabric for seats. It just doesn't work. It gets too dirty too quickly. And these things are awesome looking. And I mean, it's really cool as a display piece and it looks great for the first couple of weeks, but this is not gonna look so hot. So, and I think it's an option. I don't know if I, this could be the other options that I got, but uh, that's one of those things that, I mean, as is I go to aftermarket floor mats anyway, just because the Ferrari thing starts to show a little bit. But that's one of the things that bothers me. All right, numero dos. The second thing that bothers me about the 488 is the camera. This is an expensive option. It was a telemetry. It cost $10,000. And I just feel like you have this whole void here and you could just, you could put it right there. You could put it somewhere else. I mean, the camera, and I was, maybe it was the angle, but the camera in the back sits lower. This could easily sit lower and be angled as well. So, that sort of just ruins, I don't know why it bothers me, but it just visually ruins the line of the car where a black camera inside like a black piece of, of plastic or a black piece of carbon fiber would be much less noticeable. Even if it went in here somewhere, it's just like a mark right on the front of the bumper. I don't know why that bothers me, but when you look at it, you're like, Ugh. and it shows everybody that you have the option, but One of those things that like, I like the option. I like what it does. I like every reason for it. I just don't like it right there. Sort of like Donald Trump. <laughs> Number three, and this is sort of the same on all the 458s and 488s is this. It's the start button, which objectively is cool. However, you only need that button once. And I've said this about 458s in the past. You could put that right here, leave everything on the steering wheel. I'm even okay with the horns being here, which if you go to a racetrack and you watch Ferraris driving around, you'll hear people beep the horn because they're gripping the steering wheel too tight. So you hear random horns going around the, uh, going around the racetrack. Um, that button being only needed once, you could put it somewhere else. The blinkers here, again, you can get used to them, wipers, everything here on the steering wheel. Makes sense, it's stuff you may use and may turn on and off more than once. Uh, I just don't like the engine start button being right there. I know it's being a little nitpicky, but I don't know. It's, I mean, at least it's an engine start stop on the 488. 458 was an engine start, and then the key to turn it off to, to stop it. Uh, now you have the key fob on this car. Uh, the next one that bothers me while I'm in here is the radio. Uh, I've just never been a big fan of the joysticks. And I'm not even, I'm just not a fan of the joystick radios. Um, here it is. I just need an easy little control knob here, up, down, volume. I'm not asking for anything fancy. It's just a little bit too, I don't know, a little bit too advanced. I mean, and now we're really, again, we're getting nitpicky here because like anyone else, you could talk about how you could be annoyed by a Ferrari. That's one of those little things that bothers me. And last but not least, and I don't even know if this is um, something I can complain about because it's just an inherent problem with all turbocharged cars. The exhaust note with the top down when you're moving, it gets gobbled up a little bit. And this is the factory exhaust. I don't know. And But Ferrari, I guess for Ferrari, you hold a little different standard only because the um, only because they're known for their exhaust notes. So three, I mean, the 355 is probably tops for me. 
uh, 355, 360, even 430, 458, all sound very good naturally aspirated cars. I understand they're moving away from the naturally aspirated cars, but the exhaust note just missing a little bit. And I don't know because I don't have an aftermarket exhaust yet. Uh, a lot of that is for emissions and everything like that. They have to gobble up whatever's, whatever sound it can make. Uh, we'll find out. I may go with an aftermarket exhaust just to try it out and see if it spruces it up a little bit. But again, it's very doable. It's very passable with the top up and the windows up, but when you put the windows down, the top down, it's really a fairly quiet car. Same thing you run into with the uh, McLaren, uh, the, the, any, any sort of uh, turbocharged convertible or, or I don't know, convertible Targo, whatever you want to call it, cars, you sort of run into the same issues where you lose a little bit of the exhaust note when you're on it. So those are my only complaints. And to be fair, those complaints are very like, I had to think of stuff I didn't like. Um, Everything else is like spot on with this car. Uh, I, I mean, red Ferrari can't go wrong. I still have this weird, like, I love the blue. The, the, the blue car that they released as their, um, as their demo car for the 488s, that, that like light blue. I'm, I'm just a blue car guy. I can't get out of my head, but uh, I mean, that, that's, you're talking very nitpicky to find things that I don't like about it. Otherwise, this car is perfect. And still to this day, I say it's the best car that Ferrari has produced. And, and I'm like, I'm liking the, the, the rigidity, everything about it with the hard top. I'm up to just over 200 miles, so we're not really talking a lot of time on it. But every mile I dri I've driven in this thing has been awesome. I will catch you next time. I can't see driving it any further as changing my opinion as to the things I like or don't like about the car. The only thing that's left jewelry still out on is the exhaust. We'll see if we can change that. I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for making it through the whole video. I appreciate it. If you like what you saw, like below, comment below. Uh, those both help my videos go up in rankings and that helps me out. So thank you for that. If you don't enjoy it, don't say anything. But since YouTube does its own like things in the end here, I have 20 seconds in which to do that. And that's going to stop right now.